Rosa Kelly, I'm a painter, illustrator and printmaker and for the show I'm showing some prints and also uh, oil painting based on a picture of me when I was younger. I had never really done any printmaking before I went on an Erasmus to Bologna and um, kind of didn't really know what I was signing up for and then got thrown in to this class of yeah doing engraving, etching um, and kind of learnt everything in a strange way because I don't speak Italian and then came back to London and wanted to keep going with it but couldn't do it on my course so I came here to Artichoke and um, yeah learnt from looking at other people and asking their advice. So I also do a lot of stuff about folklore and superstition that kind of is kind of looking at magical objects and objects that have like and like intrinsic power and that have been used a lot in history. Yeah, I've just always been really interested in teeth. There's so many interesting like anxieties around losing your dreams about losing your teeth and yeah, the tooth fairy when you're younger and I think it's as well a, a lot of the stuff that I looked at childhood for. When you're a child you don't worry about not knowing things. It's okay that the world's a bit more mysterious and you're not you're not disturbed when your teeth fall out. But then as an adult, we make it, it's a really scary, creepy thing. The reason teeth are so interesting to me is that they're, they're a physical part of you that can become separate. And it's that thing of being like, the same with looking at photos of me when I was younger, hair or, yeah, things that can kind of become a detached part of you. It's so weird to look at something and be like, you're me, but you're not anymore. It's such a like visceral way to be like, like who am I if that's not part of me anymore? The process of making something physical, you're like thinking through things and processing them as you make them. So especially with the ones of looking at um, old photos of me when I was really little, it's like you're really trying to get back to that person by like recreating them physically. It's, re it's really odd to stare at a face that isn't really yours anymore for a really long time and remake it but know that like there's a big period of your life where you look in the mirror and that's you that's it's not anymore. I'm in favour of thinking about the body as being more connected with the mind than we think it especially in like like modern society I think we are a lot up here in our brains rather than feeling our bodies and like a lot of the stuff like the with the teeth I think in the past we would have been much more connected to things that are a bit gross and bodily and we've kind of let that go a bit. I think hopefully by making work like this it makes you feel like you're, you're a whole person, you're not two fragmented bits. <laughs>